Uh, so welcome back to our Dancy Girl Live. I apologize for this technical problem. Uh, my name is Betty Finkelstein and I'm, I'm from Danziger. I'm the marketing, uh, the Cutflower Marketing Manager at Danziger. Uh, we are a breeder company uh, for the past 68 years for pot plants and cut flowers. Uh, and most of you most probably remember or know our varieties such as Excellence, Gypsophila, Scoop Scabiosa, Paintball Crespedia, Skylar Veronica, Green Dragon, Lipidium, and many, many more. Uh, and today I have the pleasure of having both Alison Bradley and Thomas Max with us, the wonderful Thomas Max. And we were going to talk about one of the hottest trends today to talk about ecotrends, ecotrend uh, techniques. And today we have actually another um, surprise for you. We have also Adrian Moreno from uh, uh, Mystic Flowers who will join us uh, and he will give us another perspective of a grower point of view for ecotrends. Uh, so stay with us because we'll have uh, him uh, throughout the session. Um, I remind you all that you are most welcome to uh, ask question on our chat during the session. Uh, uh, and feel free also to do that on our Facebook Live and we will share the, the question with Alison, with, with Max, to make sure we are answering everything. You are welcome to follow us on Dancing Girl Live, where you can see all the webinar afterwards, all the upcoming webinars that will be uh, afterwards, uh, and uh, to share your thoughts, your ideas, your questions, and Alison and the team will answer you. Uh, and of course, um, you are most welcome to also follow us on our uh, Imagine More Flowers Instagram page, uh, where we uh, upload a lot of your work too. Uh, so uh, before we start, uh, I would like to share with you uh, a short video uh, about one of our wonderful products that I think that Thomas is also going to use, uh, the Skylar Veronica. Uh, so, so just one second and it will go up. On the other hand, it might not. <laughs> our Skylar really is a flower worth analyzing because it has so much depth from its line movement to its minute florets, making it so unique. Catch this flower in four varieties in intense purple, pink, and white tones, making it a perfect flower to communicate romantic and soft vibes. Nevertheless, fun and funky enough to transmit a more playful take on a design. Although some may consider them as filler flowers, for me, it really is a star worth showing because its shape is quite particular. Another thing I like about Skylar's is that they have such beautiful leafy foliage that is always worth showing. With our Skylar, you can play with movement all you like. Its long, straight tip adds interest to any floral design. In the world of Skylar, creativity is endless. Okay. So this is our Skylar, the beautiful Skylar Veronica. And uh, now, Alison and Thomas, the stage is yours. We are very curious to see what you have to say. So good luck. Thank you. Well, Thank hello everyone. Much. Hi Thomas, darling. I can tell you we've got people from Colombia, from Canada, from New York City, from Finland, from Poland. Hey, there you go. Ooh, wow. Hi, Hiya, darling. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, from Perth in Scotland, very beautiful country, as you know, Scotland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Japan, there you go. And from more from Colombia. So welcome to everyone. Hello. Tell you a little bit about my um, friend here, Thomas Max. Uh, oh, and Kenya and India. Oh, here it keeps going. I can't keep up to date with this. Well, anyway, Thomas Max, I for how long have I known you, darling? Ooh, well, I don't know. Since you were a baby, really. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe up, boy. He pops up all over the world. And uh, what's wonderful about him, I'm going to boast about you now. Uh, what's wonderful about him, he's one of these designers that continues to grow, you know, which is which is wonderful. A lot of people, when they become successful, kind of stay static, but not you. You constantly evolving. And now he's standing in his new school, for goodness sake. Yeah, I know. It sounds great. I didn't make it. I'm really sorry. Um, with the COVID thing, a lot of air flights have 
closed, so I, I can't get to you except we can get together like this, which is safer, probably. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm, but but I'm, I hope that one, one day you will come to, to my school and you will meet my students. Yeah. This I would love to do because they're you're producing some amazing stuff. Uh, hello from Hungary. Hello from Poland again. Don't ask me to pronounce towns. It's not going to happen. So here we go. The other side of uh, Thomas Max is, of course, he's on the, the main committee for a thing called the Europa Cup. Now, this does not mean he's doing football, correct? Stop. Yeah, no, 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 no at all. <laughs> no football. <laughs> This is a competition for florists, European florists, that has been postponed several times, but it's going ahead. It yeah. all, we'll be there, at least some of us will be there, but I'll be there in, in spirit. So um, Thomas is going to embrace and share some ideas with you on the subject of eco. Now, eco is um, an interesting one. A lot of people claim to be eco-friendly in their designs, but you take it very seriously, don't you? Yeah, in, in, in my school, we are, we are trying to work as much eco as we, as we can. That's why we are, we are also cooperating with some partners with other companies like uh, Oasis uh, or Dive Natural Collections. And they are uh, bringing us a lot of like eco products. And I see that everything is going that way. Less plastic, more nature. Yeah, which is wonderful. You yeah. know, both you and I know another designer who's based in London, and he saw his uh, online market share uh, jump by 70% when he started introducing an eco-friendly range. It was an amazing result. So it's a way ahead and hopefully helps to save this planet. Hi from Hong Kong. Nice to welcome you. There you go. So what are you going to share with us today? I'm very excited. Yeah, so today I, pre I prepared uh, six uh, arrangements in different um, style, or in eco style, but different techniques. Okay. Uh, with uh, amazing flowers uh, from Danziger and uh, with a lot of, with a lot of uh, nature. Nature things, but not, not bought, but from the forest, from the fields. Uh, my school, it's... Uh, surrounded by, by uh, like nature, by fields. So we are working a lot with branches, with grasses, with leaves and uh, et cetera. So I prepared a lot of uh, arrangement, a lot of tips with those kind of material. So I started uh, with uh, my first arrangement. It's uh, wood, um, uh, with wood, wooden base. And I used a bottle, like a normal wine bottle. Uh, we are not drinking a bottle in my uh, wine <laughs> in my school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm trying to collect a lot of things like this and uh, uh, use them again and again and again in totally different ways. Yeah. So uh, last uh, last. Um, Mount uh, Klaus Wagner uh, been in my school, and uh, he inspired me with with the bottles. So um, I made like a kind of a panel. Yeah. Uh, I put the bottle mm -hmm. in one line, and uh, Renault Tria also here, um, but I didn't use any glue to okay. fix it together. Uh, but I use the clay, so uh, I will show you a little bit closer how interesting it is. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. You can see all the scratches and all of the nice details here with the dandelions also. So uh, this is really nice. Whoops, sorry. Uh, really nice technique. Uh, and it gives uh, a very nice effect, like more artistic. And uh, we have a lot of spaces here to put the flowers. Yeah. So I start with 
uh, beautiful Sab Sabiosa. Yes, we love, we love. Yeah, uh, it's a marshmallow scoop variety. Marshmallow. Yeah. Ooh. Marshmallow. Gorgeous. Yeah, we it looks. We it love looks scoop. really tasty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. to Western Lake and says hi. Ah, hi, hi. Yeah. Good, good to see a lot of friends. So tell me, you know, you're working on clay. Yeah. And once it's set, it's holding your mechanics in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what happens if the clay gets wet? I'm just going to be horrible to you and ask what happens when the clay gets wet. Or is it because you're feeding straight into bottles? When I started to put the clay on the construction, yeah. It was to totally wet. Right. And now it got dry and, it's, and it looks nice. But when I put the water on it, 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 it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. It, it, it changed the color for a few minutes, but now it's so hot in Poland. <laughs> so, oh gosh, yes. How hot? It's like 32 or something, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Yesterday we organized a swimming pool, like a small swimming pool in the front door of my school. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's different. Yeah, I've never heard of a swimming pool in the front of a school. Well, will I tell you what the temperature is here in Scotland then? Yeah, it's 17 degrees. Oh, God. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome to summer in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you were saying that you're cutting from nature. Is that okay with the Polish government that you're rampaging about through the forests? It depends. <laughs> it depends what are you cutting, okay. right? Because we can cut the, the grasses or something. It, sure. it, it doesn't matter. But we cannot, for example, go to the forest and take a moss. Okay. It's not allowed. Yeah. I think that's a universal one. I think moss is protected, yeah. Um, yeah. And royal flowers are protected too, but um, but you see, you're using there as um, part of your structure. Uh, oh gosh, Alison, you can't even remember the name of this stuff. It will come in a minute. The dried stems, um, and that's Renotria. Yeah? Yes, that's banned in the UK. You know because it's considered to be dangerous. Oh. But I, I did a deal with the local forestry commission that um, they couldn't get rid of it because once it's there, you can't really easily get rid of it. So they encouraged me to cut it for them. Well, okay. <laughs> I was school here. So they liked that I was doing it, but it's, um, yeah, it's, it's yeah, something it, it's, to know about. Renotria is growing really, really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, but it's really useful in floristry. So, yeah, we are now organizing a garden around the school. So, yeah, we plant a lot. A lot, and it's, and it's already, after a few more weeks, it starts to, we, are, we, we see that it grows really, uh, really fast, but in, on its sand. It doesn't okay. need to have a very, you know, uh, good soil or something. No. And the, uh, again, uh, and then the next flower I'm using, yeah, it's a oh. ornithogallum, Gallum, yeah, white star. Beautiful. Yeah, I really like it because uh, normally ornithogallum is so high, but this yeah. one is really nice. It's not 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 so. Uh, it, it, it's quite short, but for this arrangement, it's I think it's enough, and it gives really nice. White color. I have too because it lasts so long. You know, there's so much value for money in a stem. And it cuts down nicely for bridal work too, which is great. Yeah. And it's also really uh, comfortable now for me to, to work because I have a lot of places in this arrangement when, where I could put the glass tubes. Ah, okay inside of course yeah put okay. a little bit of water so it's really 
really easy and we can uh, replace the flower, we can change this uh, arrangement when the flower will will be not fresh anymore, we can easily change it for the fresh ones. But I really like the color uh -huh. of the scabiosa when it's also, when it's closed. Aha. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. there's almost like three colors there, isn't there? Yes, yes. And it's beautiful. Also, when, when it's fully open, it's really nice. But when it's like a young one, um, I think that they are much more interesting. Even. Yeah, me too. Me too. I think they're gorgeous. Yeah. It's quite funny. I remember the first time I saw Scoop Scabiosa. I think we were IPM Essen. Thomas and um, I stopped dead. I couldn't believe the size of these heads, how beautiful they were. But this is a new variety to me. I don't know marshmallow. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So now to make it more like delicate and the natural uh, style, I'm adding the, the grasses from the fields. And I really, really like to add this kind of like natural, wild, natural uh, plants or flowers to my arrangement to make it like closer to the nature. Yeah. And they are so, so, so nice. Yeah. So it's, it's a design that's designed to bring the outside inside. Yeah? Yeah. I love that. Exactly. Yeah, I really like it. But tomorrow well, we, we will make the, the photo shoot, so it will be easier to see all the details from of the arrangement. And these will be posted on Danzinger Live. Don't you worry about it. Yes. We'll still do that. But, um, and so will the full video, so people can catch up if they, you know, well, it depends on where they are, because last last time we were here, we had people from New Zealand, we had people from Australia, and they were watching us in their pajamas. But if anyone's watching from those countries this time, they're staying quiet. I think they were terrified because I wanted to see their pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Not like me, huh? <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, right. I, I think that it's too high yeah, now. To, you cannot see all, all the size of the of the arrangement. Yeah. But it's and it's really easy because of the bottle system here. It's very easy to to work, but we have to say like to to, to, to stop. In yeah, a, because we, we have a not a lot of space in the bottle. So and I want to I don't want to have a, like a messy style. But. No, no. It, I think I think in a case in one of these kind of designs, uh, you should be able to see all the flowers clearly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And to have some like one stronger line and build as uh, the, the space in the uh, in arrangement, I really like to work also with uh, some stronger leaves to yeah. cover something to to create some kind of like a mystery in arrangement, not to show like everything. Okay, I love mystery. Mystery is always good. Yeah. Mystery was what happened to Betty at the beginning of this show. <laughs> <laughs> you <She> disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, Betty's killing herself laughing here. I can <laughs> <laughs> But there's a delicacy and as you say, it could get, you know, if it's all the same type of material, it needs contrast to give a better view. Oh, I love that. That skibiosa is beautiful. It is. Oh. 
Okay, so ah, I have also really nice ferns. Ferns yeah. with a beautiful line. Ooh. Yeah, so to because everything is like uh, more like vertical from yeah. the bottom to the top. So to make some uh, little contrast. Yeah. Yeah, and put some more space. I will add some just few turns here. I think actually the green bottles in themselves add something to the design because the green takes from the, the, the leaves at the top and then carries it down. It's really, it's quite interesting how that's working. Mm -hmm. And how- yeah. it when, we, when it will be finished, it's really nice to look like through the bottles inside the arrangement because there is a lot of movement, a lot, a lot of nice uh, details with with clay, with uh, the, I have also the part of the dandelions uh, hidden here. It gives a lot of like nice spaces. So I think that the arrangement is, it's ready now. Yeah, it's gorgeous, I love it. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. how heavy this is, you're not going to lift that, are you? It is, but I have really strong assistant. Uh, have, oh, oh, assistant. Uh, yeah, he wants to say hello or so. I know okay. you know him. Hey. Hiya! Hi, Sigmund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sigmund is one of the teachers in my school. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah we, are, we, are, we are neighbors now, so we are working a lot together, okay. so I'm... I'm really grateful that he is here and he is helping me from the like uh, back. Okay. Okay. Two two men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa! Well done. We would say he's been eating his porridge to make him strong enough to lift that. Uh, okay. Wow. So the next one also very very delicate yes it it will be uh like a centerpiece on the round uh table it can be yes. yeah so i started with the glass vase uh-huh yeah got it and yeah and i use like a rope or i, I don't right. remember the, the english name yeah uh, yeah, string, yeah, yeah, in the really nice, like, uh, gray color, yeah, and I covered it, yeah. and I prepared kind of a, like a net on it, yeah. so you can see. So, so that is limonium in there? Yes, 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 we have uh, three, uh, three limoniums here. Yeah. Uh, it's a sapphira, limonium, lilac, dark blue, uh, and of course, a lot of um, grasses. Mm, we have also fern uh, and uh, like a central piece uh, to, to, to make some kind of also like a mystery. I will put the uh, Echeveria oh, yeah. like inside, but uh, I will cover it also with, uh, with limonium because it, it repeats really nice the, the color oh, yeah. Of, Absolutely. Yeah, of, 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 of limonium. So in the, in the central part of, uh, of my arrangement, uh, we will have some darker color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And when we, we will go more uh, outside the, Mm, the arrangement, the, the color will be more, more bright. So how do you like working with limonium? There's quite a lot of controversy about it. Uh, because of the smell or what? Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. I, really, I really like to work with uh, limonium, to be honest, because uh, it's uh, even if, when it's dry, uh -huh. It's nice, and for me, this the smell of the limonium. It's it's not a 
big issue. It's not a it's not a problem. Uh -huh. But yeah, normally uh, in yeah in, in Poland we treat it like uh, just to put put it inside the bouquet like a support, right? Yeah. Of the um, of the arrangement, but I wanted to create the arrangement and to show the, the the beauty of the limonium and show how strong also it can be and uh, give the really strong and nice effect. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, can we repeat the name of the green fillers, please? What's the green fillers? Oh, golly, golly. Oh, no, so this is wild grasses we're talking, Sylvia. Yeah. It's not, it, it's not something you buy on the shelf, yeah? No. Nope. Wild grasses mm. in nature, is that right? Right. Mm. And in, in this arrangement also, I will use the fern leaves. Okay, so Liz is asking what mechanics Thomas has used to hold the limonium in place. Um, it's very simple. What I'm sorry to say, it's very simple. I don't mean. Yes, it is, but it's it it is a really simple technique. Easy to do, and it's but, it, yeah, it's really nice. It's practical. So basically, he's got a circular glass container, and he's taken string. You could use a uh, strong wool or something like that, and he's bound it over the outside of the container over the top and under the base. So that actually elevates the container a little bit. And so those crossing lines of the wool or the string or whatever it is, are what you work your, um, your flowers into, yeah? Yeah, and now when I have also a lot of um, stems, crossing stems, yeah, they are supporting uh, each, other. each other. Yeah. So now when I'm putting the next stem to the arrangement, I really can feel that it's really stable. Absolutely. You've got to be quite clever about how you work the base though. If you, if you work too much to the center, you get like a bubble on the base. Yeah. You've got to be clever that you space out the out the string but it's once you've got it it's, and what's good about it is once you've got it you've got it for good you know and what also what, what, what i really like in this arrangement and in, in this uh flower that yeah. to be honest if i would if, if i would not use a fern i don't need to put the water inside the, uh, oh, the, the, the yeah the, the glass uh because the limonium will uh -huh. be Will be dry. Will be will be, will be still really nice. Absolutely. And Echeveria doesn't need yeah the. Um, no, it the lasts. Water. This is succulent, so it lasts really well. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's actually it's quite a quite an interesting design for like a corporate session. You know, if you had yeah. a hotel yeah. someone or whatever hairdresser something like that, where people regularly forget to water things. This kind of idea is perfect because it can dry out naturally. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, and now you, you can you can see that I almost covered the yeah. Echeveria yeah. inside. It's a bit like sparkling starlight, something like that. It is, it is, it is. So Thomas used to travel very frequently all over the world. He popped up in China, didn't you, darling? Yeah. Popped up in Korea, popped up, well, basically everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah I, I miss those times. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I also, we, we are laughing that because of the COVID, uh, we opened the school. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so for, for now, for me, it's like quite impossible to travel yeah. uh, because of the school we have, uh, for this moment, we have two groups of uh, one group is a basic, uh, like a first step in yeah. Poland is a florist. 
Yeah. And then uh, the second group is the masters of the pluricy is the second level. So, and they have a lot of like interesting, really interesting uh, lessons. Uh, they had the lessons with uh, Ati Lira. They had the lesson with um, Klaus Wagner, with Haneke uh, Frankema, with Daniel Santamaria. Yeah, so, and they will meet, the, they will have the lessons with also with uh, our Gabor, um, with Robert. Bartolin. So we have a lot of activities in my school. So for me, like for the CEO now, it's uh, it's impossible to go to to go out. Yeah, I was. I know that uh, you had Hanukkah come back over. This is Hanukkah Frankema, who's um, yeah. oh, here. You go. Do these designs have to be created in situ? I'm not sure how to transport designs like these without spillage or movement. I would love to do more of this type of design, but the practicalities worry me, says Lorraine Russell. Um, to I be would... honest, it's really... Yeah. It's not problematic. If, if you will put exactly. a lot of stamps, it will be, uh, it will be good. Of course, of course it, it, it would be... Um, very difficult to uh -huh. transport if we would use, for example, Craspedia because yes. it's thin and uh, uh, the stem is really like very straight and simple, yeah. right? But the limonium is perfect because of the all the crossing crossing lines. Exactly. So now I'm putting also the ferns. ferns. Yeah, we are uh, preparing it just like to, to have it a little bit like more like an arrow shape yeah i'm making it more like this to have it more also uh, delicate uh, well lorraine i'm going to answer you about this and say you have a go at this type of design it's easy to transport it's much easier to transport than you think give it a give it a try um, yeah. and actually do you know what's ideal is if you get some of the, you know, the old black buckets, the rounded, the circular type top buckets, you can stack them in that. They're really, you know, they're good for transporting, things like that. Um, and as for the water, well, if you're clever, doing what's happening here, um, very little, little water needs to be transported. And if you're going to take it, to a corporate customer and they want something in it that needs to be water, a fair amount of water in there, that's going to last for a very long time. Yeah, and it, we, we can also start to uh, work with uh, limonium mm -hmm. and then transport it. Transport it. Exactly. And for, for example, we, we can add uh, uh, like a dientum, it yes. uh, loves water, so we can add few uh, at the end when we will fill uh, the container uh, with water. Yeah, it's, um, I used to do that a lot with um, surprising effect. I had a really good mechanic at one stage, um, which was kind of ahead of its time. So you could have all your, your gear ready in this mechanic. Um, stick the stems in a black bucket, arrive at the venue, put the container down, fill it with water, and then drop this on top. Done. Back out the door again. You know, it's it's good economy, to be honest. You're welcome, Lorraine. Yeah, and it, then we also we can just leave the the limonium, yeah, uh -huh. like like our, our base. Yes. And, and change change the flower. We can. Uh, we can add uh, the one, one time we can uh, add a shiveria, one time we can uh, add some uh, like big king protea can also look really nice here. Something really, really strong with effect. Because now I, I want to also to, to have kind of the, the, the contrast between the strong uh, echeveria inside and all of these beautiful, beautiful grasses from there's wonderful movement in grasses i always think that people underestimate grasses yeah, yeah. we work we work a lot now in uh with with our students with with grasses uh -huh. yesterday yesterday they had a really nice um, 
exercise because every time when we when we are meeting they have like a surprise task okay uh, so they had uh, like mystery boxes okay. with a lot of a lot of interesting uh things and a lot of grasses for example and they had to do the wreath and put with the candles and uh -huh. put it to the lake ah yeah and it was wonderful ah. everyone were uh, we we went at the lake everyone wear the white uh outfits yeah. yeah and we put all the wreaths with the candles on the on the lake and it was really really romantic and really really wonderful and then we had a uh, uh like an evening party with the guitar so yeah <laughs> yeah i can see everybody wanting to come to the school now for romance by the lake. <laughs> we don't need any of these dating sites just go to thomas's school everything will be fine <laughs> yeah we are we really we are really taking care about the atmosphere in the school uh to make to have uh to make like a second home for for our students um we have really nice uh like a hotel part okay have, uh yeah we have six room for 12 people in my school so uh they are just they're living here um uh, uh from the yeah from, from the from the morning uh they can sleep here eat here live here uh so so for them it's like a second home okay so i think it's it's ready. That is gorgeous. Yeah. I, love I think that it's really, really nice. And uh, now that we, we can see that limonium can be also really, really important part of the arrangement, not just a, not just a filler. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank That's you very gorgeous. much. Thank you. yeah it's okay i'm excited by the swimming pool outside the front door though i think that's really cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah. after the webinar i will go there for sure <laughs> <laughs> well i won't do that here for some reason can you imagine <laughs> degrees okay oh, okay so the next, next arrangement it's on the mm, glass vase. Yeah. And we have a construction here. It's uh, like a copper uh, net. Mm. And uh, uh, I used a lot of uh, dry, like all dry grasses, uh, all dry leaves and put it between two slices of the net uh -huh. connected together yes um made around like a circle shape uh and put it on the containers on the two um branches so now and, and the next step it was to put uh also a lot of like dry uh, grasses we have the weeds also here and uh we have dry sunflowers you can see it here yeah right? uh like very uh like a countryside style i think mm -hmm. uh so a lot of the stems crossing the the construction yeah. now for me it's a very good support yeah. Yeah. for for flowers yeah so I can really this is Craspedia paint ball that's going in. Yeah, it goes to the water, but I can also use it uh like a dry flowers. Absolutely, right? it's great for dry too. Yeah, it's a paintball pop. Pop! pop. Hello, pop. Paintball pop. pop. I, I, I we also really like this because of the length. Woohoo! It's really <laughs> It's really long one, and uh, and it's really big one. Yeah, it's big one. There's not. It's really funny, you know, when when people are working with paintball, Cuspedia. I don't think people realize 
just how big a difference the size of the head is. It's so much bigger, yeah? Yeah. It, it is. Sometimes when we are ordering, we request it, yeah, and it's like so, 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 so small, but the, the paintball pop is really, really nice. I remember the first time when I first had a chat with the Danzinger team, who are the breeders of this, of course, um, and they were trying, <laughs> they, oh, you've got to watch what you say in certain countries, you know, and, um, and the ladies kept saying to me, we breed bigger balls here. And I said, I don't think you can say that. <laughs> I think we're going to have to scrap that idea. But yes, they are bigger. And they are balls. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> oh, but what a laugh that day. I think poor Betty had to go to the toilet after that chat. <laughs> So this is great. So is this, oh, here you go. Uh, Liz is asking, does the Crispidia need to drink? No, not necessarily is the answer to that question. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When, it, when it will be dry, it's change a little bit the line. It will be more like, yeah. Well, so yeah. would you. Yeah, but for, for this arrangement, it doesn't matter. No. Yeah. So no. some of them I'm putting to the water. Yeah. Why not? And some of them I'm crossing, I'm putting through the construction. And it's really helpful for me to have this construction with the old leaves. Yes. Because it's kind of like, like, a, like a foam. Yeah. It's, it, it gives a really like a stability to the, to the, um, to the stance. And, and I don't need to use any glue or something. Yeah. Yeah. That I've been at certain places sometimes when there's been so much glue used in designs that you feel as if it's like somebody's getting high on it. <laughs> it's strange. <laughs> glue sniffing was alive and well, you know. Oh dear. Yeah, and here we go. Betty's saying she has them at home just now with no water for a few months. Yeah. I know they look wonderful. There you go. Well, that's that's well said. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, and I will add to make also some more interesting effect. Yeah. I have the dry uh, sunflowers in my yeah. con construction, so oh. I will add just just one. A statement. Yeah. Yeah. I will cover it a little bit, hide it a little bit, yeah. Okay, so... You have like, oh, sometimes the clients are asking for one flower with decoration, so it can be something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, one, one, one some flowers and, and, and hundreds of crustidia. <laughs> <laughs> I remember once being asked to do a bridal bouquet with one sunflower, but it had to be not seen when the girl was walking down the aisle. So she wanted a big sunflower, but at the back of the bridal bouquet. And I'm like, oh, in the name of heavens, trying Ooh. to get the physical balance on doing a bridal bouquet with one sunflower hidden at the back. Oh, caramba. I have a question <laughs> from Lindley. That's a lovely name, Lindley. Uh, Lindley says, could you at some point show the branches that are supporting this structure? So once you finish this, you'll bring the design closer to the camera, yes? I will, I will, okay. Okay. It's very, it's very easy. I put like a two really, um, it's not a branch, it's, it's like a sticks, yes. wooden sticks. I place them through the construction. Yeah. Like a two to make the like a holder like this. Yes. Right? Okay. And it's on the on the base. So oh, now right. when I put a lot of a lot of uh, stems to the yeah. water, I see it's That's really strong. stable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Cameraman will do his magic. You're gonna see a lot of finger, Lindley. I can tell you now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. 
I think what's been. I a... really like Crestedia, but this is the favorite flower of Zygmunt. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Really? Hmm. really? And like Crestedia started to be very popular in Poland when Zygmunt started to show a lot of <laughs> arrangement with Crestedia on the stage. Okay. Yeah, wow. so some 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 Polish uh, florist called like it's a it's a Zygmunt flower in Poland. Zygmunt flower. I remember Zygmunt competing, representing. Uh, oh, that's gorgeous! Representing Poland at the World Cup in Berlin. Yes. In Berlin, right? Like yeah. this. Berlin was a challenge. It was. It was. It was a big challenge. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah. That, that's why we are we are uh, also uh, in the committee of the Europa Cup, me and yeah. Sigmund, because we have we have some experience. Uh, Sigmund in uh, in Havilov in Czech Republic, right? And uh, I was the computer in the in Genova. Yes, I was so there. Have, I remember. Yes, we, we so we have this kind of like, uh, competition experience. So we are trying to to support. Nothing was as bad as Shanghai. That was terrifying. I was there in Shanghai. As you know exactly little... what I'm talking about. Yeah. Very frightening. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. That was frightening. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Normally you can, you will see on the, on the photos a lot of like details also here. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of movement, a lot of really nice space. You will see how delicate it is, and the the levels of the Crespedia gives really nice uh, effect here. So I don't want to put too too much too much. So I think it will be like a last one. Yeah, he's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, I'm not sure if it will be. Okay, Lily, cross, cross, your, cross your fingers. He's going to show you the stems now. So there's the stems in the vase. And can you move it down a little bit? Move the glass down a bit, darling. Ah, yeah, there you are. You're seeing the structure underneath. So he's got raffia and dried grasses in there as well. Yeah. Okay, well done. Yeah. Well done. Okay, now don't. Oh. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. So where are we off to now? What's what we're doing now? I have to tell you, we're going to have to go fast. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Adrian must be on his twenty-second coffee now. <laughs> oh, oh, so, uh, wow. you're in jail, my goodness me, yeah. It will be something something big, but I really like the, the style of, uh, of the bouquet. <laughs> oh, yes, a petite bouquet from Thomas. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Cool. And this is can also the, 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 the thing. Can you yeah. bring it closer to the camera? The, show us the center. OK. So now you can see the crossing lines that he was talking about before, Lindley, yeah? And you can see there's woven grasses through there, yeah? And that then holds a structure for the spiral at the bottom. Yeah. Oh. So in this bouquet, I wanted to also to show the, the beauty of gypsophilia. Yeah. We have two two wonderful varieties. We okay. have uh, Excellence. Yeah, my favorite. And one of my favorite, it's a million stars. You love million stars, yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like because uh, of, the, of the size. I'm really small and delicate, I really love Okay. Variety. Um, I started with, with construction. Yeah. I don't know if you will see it see the construction but it's it's really simple construction it's a like four wires yeah like in the cross shape yeah and then i add next wires also with the like the crossing shapes 
crossing, I mean, crossing lines. They are covered with natural oh, raffia. Yeah. That yeah. Raffia, yeah, or taifa. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It's a ra natural raffia. Okay. Uh, and and then uh, I, when I was putting the, the the lines here, I was really careful to to make some spaces around. Yes. To have a good point to put the gypsophilia yeah. in. It's interesting. So it was when I first uh, became involved with Danzinger, the first challenge they gave me, bless them, they like a challenge. It's like a game, mm -hmm. challenge, Alison. And the first challenge was could I make gyp? more popular and I said well that's a big challenge there's certain countries that don't like gyp um, and we ran a competition in uh, yeah. on Facebook you remember yeah. and you sent in the most amazing I can still see your designs they were so wonderful including a ballet dancer with a tutu skirt made out of gyp oh yeah and she jumped, and there she is, mid air with this tutu of jip, with her legs apart, which was strange, but nonetheless, ah, oh, wonderful! I love, I love it. And then, of course, yes. Artie loves jip too. He just adores it. Yeah, yeah. He is like a jip ambassador. <laughs> he should be actually. He definitely should be. He's really passionate about it and includes it in all of these standard yes. bouquets because in Estonia they like it. How about Poland? How do they feel about Jip? You know, the, it's, I think it's not a favorite flower, but why? Because uh, like in the 80s, yeah. there was a lot of growers with Jips and it was only the flowers which you can buy. It was Jips and uh, white Jips and uh, carnation. Okay. Yeah, and the red carnation, so it's like a Polish flag, uh, you know, colors. Uh, but I think now uh, for the weddings, yeah, uh, gypsophilia is really, really popular now yeah. and, and, and really nice. And uh, I also, I created a few weddings just with gypsophilia. Yeah. No other flowers. Actually, yeah, that that really has, there's definite signs of that coming through where gyp is, is the thing. Can, this is, oh, I've, I've got a question. Marta, hello, Marta. Uh, can we see later photos of all the creations maybe on Facebook? Would be great to see with details. Marta, I promise you, crossing my heart here, that that's exactly what we will do. And if you signed up to the Danzinger Live newsletter, they will send them to you as well. So they're really, really kind. They're very generous about how they do this because of course it's all for free. So um, yeah, we will do that, I promise, yeah. And this is also the, the style of the arrangement that we, we don't need to put to the water, yeah? And we can make it dry. Yeah. To have it like for the long, long time. And it's also like with the arrangement with uh, limonium. I wanted to show yeah. the like um, how gypsophilia can build a construction, not like a filler. Yeah, of, of the, I mean, the arrangement, not like a filler, but like a main flower. It's very interesting, the change in approach to design anyway, because I remember when I first started, which was quite a while ago, we won't mention how long ago that was, but um, people were just throwing stems out. And I remember bringing someone to my school and she stood looking up at the ground where all these students had thrown um, all their stems. And I said, can you do something with those stems? And she made this amazing door covering 
All it was was stems. Ah ha ha. Now that's what when you're holding that up now, that's Sigmund to me. He loves working with that. Yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yesterday, yesterday we, we were for the um, train station to pick up our uh, botanical teacher. And when Sigmund <laughs> saw this in the you know the, in the rail station uh, area, he just went. <laughs> And there and start to cut it. <laughs> this is also the, the favorite of Gabor. Ah, oh, Gabor, yeah. yeah. He's also like a Dandelion lover. So I will just add a two inside my bouquet to make like a focal point inside. I love it. Yeah, but we have to work with them really careful. Sure. We are we are using like a super glue inside, not like a glue spray. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Super glue inside, so it will like uh, mm, you know it will glue it from the bottom. Yeah. So it's it's more stable. It's better. I've, I've got Hans Harakamp on, who's a, a Dutch designer like, living yeah. in the UK. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. And, Hans, yeah. can you see that? Oh, wow. And inside the dandelion. So you go around? Wow. I know other people used to spray hairspray over it, you know? Yeah, but it's 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 not that good. It's not that good. It's, it's only like from the you know, from the, I don't know how to say it. It's, it's better to do it from the front bottom, from the inside, like inside, yeah. yeah. Hans is excited about the size of the heads of your dandelions. <laughs> yes, yes, so big. And my mom also, she's like a, a cutting them, putting to the, to the basement, uh, and they are waiting for me. He's got the whole family working on it. Yeah. That's a great tip. That really is a great tip. Okay. It's good there's so many questions coming through. But yes, you will see all of these photographs later. I have a good photographer with me, so. I know you do. <laughs> yeah, we will take care about the photos. Oh, hi, Tanya. Tanya's here from Malta. Oh, gosh, that is just beautiful. Okay, so it's ready. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. I hope everybody's enjoying this. I am. <laughs> oh my yes. oh, another little thing. Here we go. It's a little thing, yeah. So this is the arrangement also with the um, oasis foam. It's a new Oh, is this the biofoam? Yeah. Biofoam, it's a new product. I really like biofoam because, because the col color is really good. Yeah. It's not black, it's not green, it's, it's, it's like a brown. And it's really easy to make some nice shape. So uh, I created like a stones here. I, will, I can show it to you closer, closer. Here we go. We're going in for close-ups, guys. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. So you've made it into, you've shaped it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, we are working with this technique with our students that really love this technique because you, 
uh, it's really easy to uh, get very uh, natural style shape and natural style arrangement. Yeah. So I will use really nice. My babe. Yeah, no, nah, really, really deli very delicate, but the color is oh, color so too. good, so beautiful. It's like a, a, it's a blackberry scoop, right? Blackberry scoop. Blackberry scoop. Yeah. Very delicate line. And like all the dancing girl, um, Scabiosa, there's, there's shades and tones within the flower, just, you know. Beautiful, basically. So in this, and in this arrangement, I also making a lot of like crossing lines, but it's also uh, very important for the technique, technical part of the arrangement because I put the um, the stones yeah. on the uh, glass plates, and I use the sticks and the stems because to cross. Yeah. To connect the the stones yeah. be between and, and to make like a stone construction. Yeah. But now I can feel that it's very stable. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. And it's also this the, the style is very natural, like a almost like a vegetal style arrangement. Uh-huh. And I think also that scabios like give really uh, nice um, contrast. Yeah. Between all these fresh greens and this like a very dark purple. It's not the easiest color to photograph, you know, the dark, the darkness of it. You have oh, to yeah. really know what you're doing. It is, yeah, that's true. It's, it's, it's very important to place them in the right position. Sure. Sure. To have some contrast, uh -huh. uh, I will add some few of Budleya. Uh -huh. Very nice flower. Sorry. Cut, 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 cut it, cut it in the city. <laughs> ah, I don't want to know about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, it, it's it's it, it's crazy. We are. We are driving a car and Zygmunt just like, stop! Oh, <laughs> going, I, I used to love those lives. Yeah, I used to love those lives. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's good to have this, this kind of, of flowers. And it's also interesting for our students when, yeah. when they can work with uh, different varieties. Well, Amelia's in love. She's got big love hearts. Thank you. And also to create some mystery. Yeah. To cover a little bit. Yeah. And it also gets depth. And it's what, what is also important in this arrangement, mm -hmm. the beautiful plate what we have here yes. it's uh it's a part of the old lamp ah yeah so it's recycled I, I love it yeah i bought it in the like uh in, in the market with with all furniture or something mm -hmm. uh yeah but i've never used it as a lamp 
but a lot of our students really love, love this plate because it's like a, a handcraft. It's, Absolutely. Yeah, it's very, very, very strong dress. And we are, we are also uh, trying to have a lot of this kind of thing yeah. uh, in the school. It's a pity you're so far away because if you were closer, I'm clearing out one of my uh, storage uh, premises of all my old containers and all the other stuff. My, my mom was really happy when I opened the school uh, because I took all of the things from the, uh, from the like a uh, home storage. Uh -huh. so now, now she has uh, all the clean, you know, the, the basement and every garages and everything without any constructions, containers, <laughs> buckets, homes. <laughs> because now everything is, is in the school. Well, happy mommy. Happy. Yeah, she's really like very proud. I remember going to a school once in China and as I walked along the sort of alleyway, it was two parts. So there was a school at one side of the road and you could drive up the middle and then the same school was at the other side of the road. Um, and in between was stacked from the ground floor and the pavement right up the building, all these structures, mechanics, you name it. And it's all outdoors. So it's outdoors in China in all weathers. You don't really want to think about this. But um, I said to him, I said to the owner, so what happens? He said, it rains. <laughs> it rains. I like rusted metal, what can I say? That's beautiful, darling. Okay, it's it's finished now. Okay, yes. can I just make a suggestion if this is okay? Because I know you have something else to share with the team, but I'd quite like to bring Adrian in just now, if that's okay. Are mm -hmm. you okay with that? And we can have a wee chat. Oh, there he is. Adrian, darling. Okay, here he is. Hi, Hi darling. So Hi. thanks very much. Don't you go away, Maxie. Maxie? Oh. I will not. Thomas Max, don't go away. Don't. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is good because we've also got, I'm going to put back to Thomas Max, who's running a dating agency in his school with romance beside the lake. Yeah. So what, what have you produced? Have you been in, enjoying this in a, you know, with Max's designs? Yeah. In a, in a meanwhile, I, I prepared uh, the last arrangement. Okay. I, I, I thought that we are out of time, so oh, yeah. I oh, I prepared um, kind of the like a bridal bouquet. Oh God, mm, I love it. Mm. It's like a yeah. super fluffy. Yeah, yeah. very classy. Yeah. Yeah. It can be good for the jury there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with, with flowers. That's what we like. To with see. amazing, oh. amazing uh, Veronica Skyler. Skylar, yes. This is um, yeah. Veronica Skylar, which is beautiful. Beautiful. I really like like the the shape. Beautiful. So romantic, so so delicate. So right. uh, in this kind of like a very um, simple uh, bouquet, yeah. Uh, and to make to make the shape more perfect with grasses, I have like hundreds, hundreds of grasses here. <laughs> There's you saying this is a very simple bouquet. I know how many stems that's taken to make that simple bouquet, yeah? That's a not lot. simple, baby. <laughs> I mean the shape, but it's easy um, to work when you have also Gorgeous. this yeah. kind of flower, yeah? We have uh, ornithogallum. Yes. Uh, yeah, so it's easier to get the, like a half of the ball shape with grasses, with Veronica, because oh, yes. every, yeah, every single grass is that thin, yeah? So you will see on the picture how delicate it is, yeah. how f fluffy and it is. how it, clean it, the stems are and the cuts as well. Exactly, yeah. this is also the very, very important part. If we want to 
uh, have the bridal bouquet like this. Yeah. Everything here should be super perfect. clean, yeah? super, super <laughs> perfect. perfect. And to have it uh, like a more eco, 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 yes. uh, I used the uh, tape. Someone can say, what is the tape? Tape is not eco, but this is also a new product of uh, Oasis. It's eco tape. Eco tape. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really nice product. It's a uh, paper with eco glue yeah. here. And like with the color, it's very nice because it's light brown tape. Uh, so I will use th this tape like a ribbon uh, yeah. to tie the, here, yeah. the bouquet here. And I'm more than sure that it will be very, Strong. Yeah. I haven't seen this tape yet. That's that looks really good. Uh, we are we are um, very uh, happy because uh, Oasis is a partner of the school. Mm -hmm. So when they have some uh, news, some new product, they Child. give it to us to to check it. Child. Yeah. So our our students. Uh, can work on the with the like the, the newest uh, articles of uh, of Oasis. Well, I think. Oh, here we go. I have to say this. Really interesting. This is from Hans again. Oh wow! Right. Oh, help! So many questions. Here we go. Thomas from Hans Habercamp. Really interesting designs and ideas are very inspirational, and I'm still a bit gobsmacked about the size of those dandelion balls. <laughs> Export idea. <laughs> okay, enough of that, Hans. Um, and then Artie Liars on her. Artie is here. Ah, oh, hello, Artie. Hey, is this eco tape available in the UK and Nordic countries too, or just in the German branch? I don't know. How about we know. ask Lena? Lena would know about that, and I'm sure Lena will know for sure. We can feed that back on to Danzinger Live. But I'm not sure even if, if it's in Germany because when we had the workshop of Klaus Wagner in our school, yeah. he said that he he first time worked with the state in our school in Poland. Yeah, so I yeah. think I will investigate that, or we'll ask Lena to investigate it. But in the yeah. meantime, thank you very much, Thomas. Thank it's you very much to work with you. Yeah, it it's was a big, big pleasure, big honor for me. And I hope this is the tape. Yep. Yes, I hope I gave gave you some uh, some inspiration that I, and I showed the Danziger flowers in the interesting way. Uh, something, something simple, something more complicated, but uh, I really enjoy it. Okay, and Adrian, thanks for everything. I think you've won a lot of new friends over today. Thank Honestly, you. I think you have totally inspirational. That's what's coming in here. So courage pays off in the end. So well done you. Thank yes, you. Thank you so much. Thank You're you welcome. so much. It's been a pleasure. Alison, uh, thank you very much for you. Thomas, it was a pleasure. Really great design. And I'm looking forward to see all the pictures so we could post it on online and share with everyone. Uh, Adrian, of course, thank you very, very much. It was very inspiring. And it's great to know that we are heading to a better place, hopefully, yeah, a yes. better world. Uh, we all need to do our efforts to, to get there. So uh, thank you very much. And I Thank hope everyone welcome. enjoyed this time. And Thomas, it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, so thank you very everyone. And uh, we hope to see you again soon on our next uh, live. Uh, and we'll, of course, uh, send you the recording through our newsletter and on our Danziger Live. You can see it as well. Uh, and that's it for today, I think, Alison, right? One last thing, Thomas. Go ahead. Before you go, darling, I've got to just bring this to your attention. Christine Kratt is, uh, you know, Chris is sending a love that says beautiful and totally inspiring and thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. And so Caroline is saying, 
Thank you in advance. Great idea. So I'm not going to read any more of this. Thanks very much. We are going to enjoy it. So that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for the great time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice Bye -bye. day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.